So Chris and Miriam are coming over for dinner on Sunday and we're gonna have prime rib. So it's Saturday night right now. I'm gonna go ahead and prepare the prime rib. What we're gonna be doing is smoking it for about an hour and a half just to get some smoke flavor. And then we're gonna sous vide it all day long until they get here. So this is the prime rib and it weighs about four and a half pounds. So we're gonna start off with coating the entire things in Redmond kosher salt. So we're just gonna literally cover the entire thing. Make sure we get all the sides, especially all of the actual beef. And now we're gonna put a bunch of the organic garlic pepper on it. And we're gonna try to press it in a little bit into the meat. Now what we're gonna do is take this, put it in the refrigerator, let it sit just like this on this cooling rack until it's time to cook. We're gonna get up at about 5 a.m., smoke it for about two hours, and then stick it in the sous vide for the rest of the day. Good morning. It is 5.30 in the morning on Sunday, and though we don't normally vlog on Sunday, we're gonna do a little bit today, but it's mostly gonna be uh, later on tonight when Chris and Miriam get here, and we're getting up and getting ready for church, and while we're taking a shower, we're gonna go ahead and put this beautiful, look at that, beautiful prime rib roast into the smoker. I'm gonna run it in the smoker at 170 degrees. I've already got it preheated. Uh, we're gonna smoke it until it's time for me to leave, which is gonna be somewhere around 7.30. And at that point, I'm gonna put it into the sous vide at 125 degrees and let it go all day. So we are actually going to go ahead and put it in the smoker on top of the pan, on top of this cooling rack so I can collect any juices or anything that come down and uh, any of the salt in there. And then we can kind of make a little bit of a gravy to go with it. So we're gonna go ahead and let this thing get going. Welp, plans have changed. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and then every Monday, we go live on Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. So last night I prepared a beautiful Gorgeous. four and a half pound prime rib roast. Plenty for everyone. Got up in the morning, 5 a.m., put it on the smoker, got it getting that smoke flavor in. Uh, yesterday, Rachel woke up with a little bit of a cold, right? Yeah. Just a cold, green like, money nose. Yeah, I felt it in my ear. I felt it in my nose. I felt it in my throat. And I thought, you know, we got wet on water rides. And then we were cold the rest of the day, as you are. And I'd slept in a hotel room. Usually when I sleep in a foreign space, the air conditioning vent is in a different place. And I find that, you know, sometimes I can wake up a little bit, you know, stuffy. Yep. And then I started to wonder, because we test for COVID a lot. Well, we're around kids. A lot. So, and we travel, and I always want to make sure that we are keeping the needs of others right in front. Yep. So, with Chris and Miriam coming over, and me, you know, being around kids this morning, and then us planning on going to the Tampa RV show, I thought, before I go to church this morning... I just want to test and make sure that this is just a cult. Yeah, and you woke up feeling better than you did yesterday. Yeah. So it was like, we were literally like, you know what, 24 hour kind of cold. No fever. And uh, But we did decide to uh, go ahead and get Rachel tested. Better safe than sorry. And Rachel tested positive for COVID. So you know what this means? This means I can serve in church today. This means that Chris and Miriam cannot come over to our home. That's right. Either today or tomorrow. Right. It also means we can't go to the Tampa RV show because I need to quarantine. Right. Well, here's the thing is 
Omicron or, or whatever, we don't want anybody to get sick. I mean, if we go to Tampa, we're going to be around a lot of people who live in their RV, mm -hmm. lots of families. We're going to be inside of all the rigs that everybody's going to be looking through in order to uh, give reviews on them. Yep. And the thought of putting another family in danger, and I mean, you may say it's just a cold. It feels like a cold. I mean, you're already getting better. I'm already getting better. But do I want to make the decision for some other family, right? Yeah. I don't want to take their wellness out of their hands. I can't do that. Like, I yeah. don't think that I am a person of integrity if I say I care about people, but then I'm willing to share this with them. Yeah. Now, I know some of you might be going, Joe, why are you sitting so close to Rachel? Because we've been sleeping in the same bed every day. Yeah. So He's if, testing negative still. If I'm going to get it, I'm going to get it from her. And if I'm not testing positive yet, it could be that I already had it and didn't know. Right. But I'm not going to quarantine myself from Rachel. I'm going to stay away from everybody else. Yeah. Um, and that's just what we're going to do right now. So the kids tested. They're negative. They're all negative. And, and again, I know this new variant is pretty much like a cold. And there's a good chance that Rachel would test negative by Tuesday. Because we know a lot of people who are like testing positive And then three days later, they're testing negative multiple times. But we don't want to put anybody at risk. So we have made the so decision sex. to not go to Tampa. So if you were planning on going to the Tampa RV show, so sorry. we really apologize. But again, we don't want to get anybody sick. It also means that we are eating a four and a half pound prime rib by <laughs> ourselves tonight. Right. And I don't know what I'm more upset about. The fact that we can't go to Tampa or the fact that we don't get to hang out with our friends, Chris and Miriam. Tonight. It all, it all sucks. Yeah. But I think that there's a lot of people that are making difficult choices. And I want to thank all of the people who've come in contact like, or normally come in contact with my mother mm -hmm. who's in her seventies and have decided, you know what, if I'm sick, I'm staying home. Right. And not... Put, Whether it's a cold or a flu or not, Omicron, that's just how we feel. And if you're, not if you're put sick, stay home. our family at risk. We, you know, we had like a broken Christmas because mm. my, you know, my brother and his wife were sick, so we couldn't have Christmas together. So you do the, you know, the best that you can, but you're constantly aware of it's not yolo like just right. all right whatever just live for today and not worry about tomorrow because i don't want to put anybody in danger yeah so um here's what we're gonna do this week we're gonna basically since we were supposed to be gone anyway we're still gonna take it as kind of a vacation week we're gonna work on some videos that need to be edited and stuff but we're gonna stay home we're going to kind of Make this a slow down week, which yeah. I think we needed to slow down a little bit anyway. And then if Rachel's feeling better later on in the week, we're going to see if we can find like a campsite at a local state park and go camping for a couple days because that wouldn't be exposing anybody. Be the two of us in our RV just get away for a couple days. Yeah. But we're going to see how the week goes. And that means we're still going to have Keto on the Couch live. And we're still going to have our Thursday night live stream. And I can premiere things. Because like I said, I feel great. I sound stuffy. I think there's a little bit in my in my nose, you know. Mm -hmm. But um, but yeah, it sucks. Yeah. And it the, just sucks. The best thing to do is, you know, stay keto. Yeah. Right? Stay well for us. Beef, butter, bacon, and egg, which is keto. And keep the electrolytes up. The electrolytes are them. super, super important. So we're having our coffee experience right now. <laughs> to console myself. To console. And we're actually having a little bit of a different coffee experience. So this is actually espresso, but it's not one of the Nespresso pods. It's us. This is a ground Nespresso that... Uh, espresso. I don't know why I keep saying Nespresso. Now it's all Nespresso. It's a ground Nespresso that we bought on Amazon and then we used a way that you can refill like some of the Nespresso pods. And that video is going to be coming out this week. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. So that's what that is. It's a double shot of that. And then we actually have different coffees. Yeah, we do. So Rachel is drinking the chocolate fudge Nespresso coffee. And that has so one egg in it, 
but no butter because she woke up this morning and this, that's how you know Rachel is sick. She woke up at 5.30 in the morning and was like, I'm hungry. I'll tell you the other reason why I knew something was not quite right. Our dog would not, no. not stay on top of me. She slept in the bed on me and really didn't leave much room for Joe. It right. was like... Oh, you mean she wouldn't leave you? Oh, she would not leave me. She yeah. would not. She was like laid Consoling, across me. Consoling, right? She All, knew something is wrong. I feel like, you know, anytime you're sick, you smell different to mm -hmm. the dogs. You know, they're very sensitive to smells. Mm -hmm. And uh, she was just like, no. And Joe's usually like, okay, it's enough. Go, you know, get down out of the bed. And she's she like, me out of the bed. She was like, no. She actually slept on the other side, which is usually she sleeps in between us. Yeah. She was just like, no, mom needs me tonight. Yeah. So Rachel had an egg this morning or two eggs this morning. And now she's got an egg in her coffee. So she's at three eggs. Mine is the mint Nespresso, which evidently was a limited time flavor at Christmas time. I bought one box, Our not knowing really liked if it. I was going to like it. And now I regret it because you can't get it anymore. John likes those. I know. He really liked it. And he was like, because he got an espresso machine and he was like, where is that flavor? And I'm like, we can't uh. get them. Believe me. And if I had extra, I would give you, but I have like six left. I love you, but like not enough Well, to he share. actually got the first one out of the whole bag. Right. And then in here I have one egg and one tablespoon of butter. Mmm. Is it awesome? I really like that. It's just got a slight mint. It's not like overwhelming mint. Yeah. I, I, I really like that one. I'm, I'm kind of upset we can't get any more. <laughs> but we're gonna like we're gonna we're gonna kinda bump it up a notch. Right? I think these are just. Let's do a coffee separate. with a shot of espresso. Mmm. I'm really thankful I still have smell and taste. Yeah. How about that? Like, that's a non scale victory right well, now. I hope we'll so. take every victory we can get. Right? Because there's how tragic. a four and a half pound prime rib in there. I've taken enough blows today. If I can't, couldn't taste the prime rib, I would seriously be upset. Like, that is, that's just not fair. Yeah. So. It is Sunday, so we're, like we said, we aren't normally going to be vlogging on Sunday, but Watch we had Church planned Online. on doing a little bit because Chris and Miriam were coming over. Unfortunately, now they're not. Um, so I think we're going to end up probably going out to Utah a couple days early just, just so we can fix. hang out with them a little bit. Make up for lost but, time. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're not going to vlog anything today except for when we go ahead and pull out that prime rib so you can see what the prime rib looks like. And then we'll continue this vlog tomorrow. So it's 7.30 and we're pulling a roast out of the smoker and we're gonna stick it in the sous vide. So I've got my temperature probe here and I'm gonna go into the meat. We don't wanna go into the fat because the fat's gonna have a higher temperature. So you wanna go right in the meat and kinda of go out into the middle, right about there. And we're gonna stick it into the Anova. Now we're running on sous vide mode. So you could do this if you had a regular sous vide with a bag. Look at all that steam. So we're gonna put this in here, plug this in, and uh, I preheated it. This temperature is gonna drop to 126 degrees and we've set the probe to let us know when it's 126 degrees. So this prime rib looks delicious. Uh, we pulled it out of the Innova oven. It's at 128 degrees internal temperature and we have preheated the oven to 475 degrees with the convection on and we've turned the humidity off. So we're gonna go ahead and sear it. So now that we are up to temperature, we're going to go ahead and open that up. And we're going to go ahead and put this in here for just about three or four minutes, and then we're going to rotate it. Okay, timer is done. We're going to go ahead and turn this off, and we're going to pull this. Oh my gosh, look at that. We're going to go ahead and pull this out and let it rest for about 10 to 15 minutes. Now, while that is resting, we're going to go ahead and add about half a cup to a cup of water to this pan to try to deglaze it a little bit and then we'll have like a little bit of uh, like au jus. Unfortunately, because we're doing beef butter bacon egg, we're not gonna add any kind of like gum to it, like, you know, xanthan gum or anything like that to thicken it up, but it'll still make like a nice dripping uh, sauce. So after I just said that we're not gonna add any kind of a gum, I did realize we are actually doing beef, butter, bacon, egg, and keto chow. So we're gonna take these drippings and we're gonna put them in the Vitamix. And we're gonna go ahead and turn this on. 
and I'm gonna add one tablespoon of the beef soup base from Keto Chap. What are you doing? Something fell off the prime rib, so I like wanted to clean up. Nothing fell off of the prime rib. I turned my back for a second. And Very little all the fat effort, off. and it came off. How thick of a piece do you want? You know me. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh my gosh. I feel so sad we can't share this with Chris and Miriam. That is just beautiful. Wow. Look at that. Just that is absolutely gorgeous. perfect. Well done, friend. Oh, wow. That is so pretty. We are, don't add any salt. You don't know how much salt I put on these things. You know I gotta add a little. We're not quite done yet. Okay. Oh, wow. That is beautiful. So what I did was I took the pan drippings, mm -hmm. added a little bit of water, right. about a half a cup, and then I put it in the blender with one tablespoon of the keto chow beef soup base. Mm. Wow. Sorry, Chris. I know. this. Sorry, Miriam. Like every single bite, I'm like, I'm so sad because this... Prime rib was meant to be shared, right? Well, mm -hmm. It's an event. Well, here's the thing. Chris is the one who got us into eating prime rib. He talks about like he spent his yeah. entire life not eating it. So now he eats as much as he can. Mm -hmm. But prime rib is one of those things. Now we've learned when you have a sous vide, um, you actually can get like really, really good the prime fat. rib. fat. You actually have my piece. Mm-hmm. Much work? Yes. Because I like the crust. Mm. Mm. It's so good, right? Oh. I'll take this back. Oh, wow. So, I, I don't think there's any better way to cook a prime rib than in a sous vide. There are ways you can do it in an oven where you kind of sear the outside for about 15 minutes at 500 degrees and you drop your oven to 300 degrees. The fat. And go to an internal temperature of mm. about 125 degrees and then pull it out and let it rest. But the sous vide, it just makes it so tender. Mm -hmm. And again, we wanted it 126 to 128 degrees. So that's what I set the sous vide to and it could cook all day. And just the longer you go, the tenderer it gets. Plus every single bite is the same. Mm -hmm. It's the same temperature all the way through. Wow. I'm sorry, this this is better than Texas Roadhouse. I know I cooked it, but... I think you're right. And that's high praise. So this particular one was not from our cow. This was one that we had picked up at Sam's Club right about when we were getting the cow because they were doing $20 off. Right. So I think we paid like... 38 or 40 dollars that's crazy for this and it was four and a half pounds one slice would be that much oh yeah i mean if you go to texas roadhouse it's almost and we haven't been there in a while so i don't know if the prices have gone up with like because of current beef prices but we were usually getting 20 ounce prime rib and that was costing us about 30 dollars yeah so basically we got more than double that we would get at texas roadhouse we don't have to go sit down in the restaurant. And for that, getting more than double, we saved money. So I'm, I'm excited about this. Now, what we've found is if you have a sous vide, whether you have the Innova Precision oven or even a regular, you know, immersion sous vide, you can reheat this. So if you have the stick sous vide, stick it into a bag mm -hmm. and then get all the air out. When you want to reheat it, put it back in the sous vide and just set it for like 120 degrees and let it go for a half hour to an hour, you will heat it up, 
you won't cook it anymore and it'll be just as good as when you first cook it. You can't do that in an oven. Now with the Inova oven, you don't even have to put it in a bag. This has been kind of a sucky day, mm -hmm. but I am more thankful now than all day long that I still have my ability to taste. Good morning. Good morning from your froggy wife, Rachel. I am so sorry you are sick. I feel okay. I just sound terrible. Yeah. It's awful. Sorry. And, and you seem to get better as the day goes on and then when you yeah. rest, it kind of like comes back and then... You know how that is. It's like first thing in the morning and then like as you're going to bed too, you, right. I feel a little bit yucky. That's, that's how I always feel whenever I'm sick. Yeah. So, it is Monday morning. We have keto on the couch in a couple of hours. And uh, it's going to be an interesting keto on the couch. You so, think so? By the time this vlog comes out, the keto on the couch will have already aired. Right. So, if you haven't seen it, go ahead and, and click the video right up here and go take a look at it. Because I think, now it's live, so maybe I'm wrong. But based on the comments that we're going to address, uh oh, I think it's going to be really, really interesting. You have a coaching call today. I do. I'm so stinking excited about it. I'm sorry that I sound like this, but I'm really thankful for all of things like Zoom and everything, which makes it possible to attend meetings. Right. But not have like to see each other face to face, but not have to be together face to face. It's the same thing for we always have a staff meeting at church on Tuesdays, so I'll be able to attend without attending. Right. I love that. Yeah. So if you didn't know, um, we did add to our website like one on one type coaching, macros, accountability, anything you want. Obviously, definitely not required because. We do a lot of stuff for free yeah. and we try to answer a lot of things, but some people have asked that like, hey, I need some more like one-on-one -on -one kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we, we added that on there. If you're interested, uh, there's a link for our website down below. Um, but you know, we have Keto on the Couch and then I'm going to edit a couple of videos. I have not defrosted anything. I Based on your appetite last night, I feel like you're probably not going to eat a lot because we did make that big prime rib and you ate one slice and, and you were done i was i was truly done um although i have been having weird cravings for beef hot dogs yeah lately well i need to uh order in some cat food and that kind of stuff yeah so maybe i'll add some hot dogs we do get a lot of messages like where do i find like filler free hot dogs mm -hmm. it's it's a little challenging um, the Teton brand is pretty good. Aldi has a brand that doesn't have any sugar added. But honestly, confession time. We don't eat hot dogs a whole lot. And when we do, we buy the ones that are all beef with the least amount of fillers. Right. Pretty much all of them have some kind of filler. So normally what I buy is like Sabrettes. I mean, I know that they add a little bit of sugar in there, and it's like one or two carbs per hot dog, but we're not doing hot dogs a whole lot. And as Dr. Barry says, you can do keto on hot dogs and mustard. If you were eating like beef, butter, bacon, egg, or if you're eating carnivore, or if you're eating pretty clean keto, if you have a hot dog now and then that has, you know, a touch of sugar in it, then don't worry about it. That's my opinion, okay? But... I know some people are going to jump down our throat like, you shouldn't eat that. You eat what you can afford. You eat what you can find. And I'm honestly not willing to pay like $3, $4 for a hot dog. Can I just say that it's a non-scale victory for me that the food I crave every once in a while as like something fun is a hot dog. Right. And not a million other way worse things. Right. I think the fact that I'm like, gosh, I really want a hot dog. It's like, Man, can't wait to get that hot dog, yeah. right? Like that's so different. Well, let me go finish setting up the computer and uh, we can take our showers and get ready for keto on the couch. Um, I did forget to mention that uh, Rachel's having a little bit of breakfast. I'm honestly not hungry this morning. Uh, so she had a couple of eggs with one slice of the Maria Emmerich bread. That's the one that we add the keto chow to. 
And then coffee is a coffee. We did the whole pot, one scoop of chocolate toffee keto chow, and one egg from the girls in the backyard. It feels like I have a cold, and isn't the old adage like feed a cold? Yeah. But I woke up like really hungry. Yeah. Plus you need you need to take eat something for your medicine. Yeah. So. I don't understand what you want. He wants to be super lovey because he knows you're sick. I know. They're so weird when you're sick, right? Like, they're all, all the animals are just like on top of you. So we got our Whole Foods delivery. Yes, we Love did. delivery. We only ordered one thing. Well, four of one thing. Yeah. We ordered milk while well, we can still get it. So, yeah, unfortunately, Maple Hill is discontinuing this. They said there was a problem with, like, I guess wherever they were getting it made from. And I guess they didn't have, I don't think they advertised it enough. And I the fact so that it either. was only available in Whole Foods probably didn't help. I really wish that more parents would have seen this and started asking questions. Because I see a lot of parents reaching for lactose-free. But the fact that this is zero sugar, wait a second. Should I think about the sugar that's in the regular milk my kids are drinking? So yeah, and it's not added sugar. It's the sugar that's in the milk, which yeah. is why we don't drink regular milk. But this milk was really good, so you can freeze it. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up each one, take out just a touch, and then stick it in the freezer. And we're taking it out a little bit so that it doesn't, it doesn't expand and then crack the container. Because I did that once before where, you know, we didn't take anything out and then it exploded inside of the freezer. Every how-to where we're warning against something is a how-to that we did it wrong first and then we figured it out. So I am meal prepping some chili. This is our keto chow chili. I'll put a recipe link up in the top corner. And basically what this is, is four pounds of ground beef, two pounds of ground pork, some bacon. You can see those chunks of bacon in there. And then spices, there's no peppers, no onions, and then a couple of scoops of the keto chow tomato basil. And as we said before, this is a great meal prep. So this is a good meal on its own, but it's also really good on top of hot dogs, hamburgers, things like that. Dinner time. Uh, my nose is so stopped up. I'm so sorry. I'm just like sucking it all day. And now it's like, mm. You look beautiful even though you're sick though. I'm so sorry, baby. I'm sorry for people having to see this. Okay, we're gonna go over what we're eating real quick. So we're having leftover prime rib. This is the prime rib leftover from last night, the other half, the half that was supposed to go to Chris and Miriam. Because you put it in the sous vide though, it's not overcooked. Yeah, look at that. So 132 degrees, we put it in the Nova Precision oven, but you can do it in a regular sous vide, like putting it in a silicone bag. Just put it in there for a couple hours, It'll cup up the temperature. You're not going to overcook it. Just set it for wherever you wanted it when the first time you made it. So if you like it medium, you know, maybe like 135 degrees. You don't even have to get all the way up to that because you're just trying to warm it up without cooking it. We're also having some chili. of the chili that I meal prepped. I was showing you earlier. And I wanted to show you this is all of the chili that we got out of that. Now, I will eat this every single day. Yeah, it's great. You could have a bowl of chili. <laughs> you could put it over burgers. Hot dogs. Put, Rachel loves it over hot dogs. I even like it over PSMF bread because I eat it like an open face sloppy joe. Yeah. So, and this is very inexpensive too. You talk about a meal prep, what's going to last you? So, this is the keto chow one, but I did not put any vegetables in there. So, what's in here is four pounds of ground beef. And I you think it nice. that, that ground beef is about $12 to $15, depending on what you're going to pay. $3 to $4 per pound. That's $12. Then I have two pounds of pork in there that we had gotten on special. But special still, beef. even if you go by the top price, that's like 6 bucks if you go by like full price. So now we're only at $18. And then a little bit of spices and a couple of scoops of keto chow, the... The tomato basil one, so that's three fifty a piece, right? So what are you at? You're at eighteen twenty five dollars, not even for two people. For two people, <coughs> and that's this is a ton of meals. It's yeah, a, at minimum you're looking at five meals, right? So you have two people, but you've got four pounds of beef and two pounds of pork in here. So that that's an, a day's food in itself you know, at about a pound a meal. And so you can get five meals out of this, no problem. And you're talking about $5 for the day. 
I think that really, if budgeting is a concern, like if it is, you have to be really strict with your grocery budget, right? then meal prepping is really non-negotiable. I know, isn't that good? It's mm. amazing. It's non-negotiable. Right. Because that is going to be the best way for you to stay on plan if you're like, this is it. This is I'm, what I meal prepped is what I'm eating. Right. You're able to ration it out. Right. <clears throat> you make it way ahead of time. You can yeah. save by buying a bulk. Yeah. So I did want to show, I had pulled these out of the freezer. People ask us all the time, what are some good hot dogs? And again, like I said, we buy whatever. We'll eat Sabrett's hot dogs. I just don't worry about it. Teton makes good hot dogs, but we really like these. We get these in Costco. Yeah. And these are the Teton Polish sausages. And just to give you an idea, so one link, there's 12 in here. One link is 200 calories, 17 grams of fat, 11 grams of protein, less than one total carbohydrate. And the ingredients are grass-fed beef, water, and then less than 2% of salt, vinegar, spices, including paprika, celery powder, garlic powder, and cherry powder. No fillers, no sugar, and they taste delicious. Well, and this is one of those situations where this could be the only thing that you eat. I mean, right. you could just eat that. You know what a great way to cook them? If you like them, like me, I like them crunchy. Don't have a black sun. If you have an air fryer, cut them in half. Stick them in the air fryer for about four minutes at 400 degrees. You get that the fat kind of bubbling out. They get nice and crispy on the outside skin. Yeah, these are really, really good. If you can find Teton, they're really, really good. So I think we're going to end the vlog right here because somebody needs to go to bed. I need to go to bed. And uh, yeah, there's not a whole lot going on. We may later on split a keto chow creamy ice cream. I think that will help you with your fever a little bit as well. I don't know. I think and it's just going to sack out. Go lay down in bed. Maybe you should get into the bath with those bath salts. Ooh, with the, we got the yes. vinegar rub bath salts. That might help you help. as well. So we're going to end the video right here. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, take a look at some of the videos that we have linked right over there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm going to put right over here. Whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Till next time. Bye. Bye.